Oh, I got something. All right. All right. <laughs> What's up guys, today we're gonna to be going to Lake Seminole to fish for Big Striper. We're gonna be throwing big baits all day long. I got some saltwater baits here. This is a Tsunami knife jig. This is a five ounce I'm gonna be throwing, a three and a half or four ounce. I'm also gonna be throwing the Talking Popper XD. I'm gonna throw it until my arm gets tired. But the Striper are supposed to spawn at the end of March or the beginning of April when the water reaches 70 degrees after the first full moon phase. So it's about that time let's go over there and see if we can catch something huge all right we're on lake seminole now below the woodruff dam and we're fixing to catch some striper I think there's rocks down there. Something doing this too. Something doing it this too, though. Maybe it's fish hitting the line. That's what it is. Shad. Shad. It could be. Yeah, it was a lot too. Nope, nothing. I feel it again. Oh, I got something. All right. All right. Woo. Ha -ha. I bet this is a big striper. Oh, it's big too. A cigar. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's a big gore too. All right, guys, whenever you go to grab a gar, you always want to have gloves on or get your towel and you can put it over his mouth like this. Look at that. All right. And look what he bit. Look what's hanging out of his mouth. And he is hooked right in the mouth. So he did bite this. That's a three and a half ounce tsunami knife jig. Wonder how long this thing is. I ain't got a ruler that long. I'm five foot six. So that's touching my boot. And he's up to the bottom of my chest. I say he's about four foot long. Now this is a long nose guard. This is not an alligator gar. We'll go ahead and get the hook out over here. Come on now. And now we're gonna go ahead and let this gar go. I don't feel like cleaning or eating him. Now, if you get one of these, as you can see, they're really feisty. You get it in the boat, it did all kind of flopping around. 
Um, you really got to cover the mouth up. That's why I had a rag over his mouth. Uh, normally, if I'm gar fishing, I carry some gloves with me. I wasn't expecting to catch that, but you never know what you're going to catch. We'll catch some more fish in a minute, though. I'm bleeding pretty bad. Yeah? Might have to super glue that up. Damn. What's up? I can't believe I caught that gar in the mouth. He bit this jig. There was all that shad was hitting my line up there. That's the spot. You watch. We will. I do want to fish this bank with this popper though. If my finger will stop bleeding. My drill is pumping so bad I can't even feel it. We got snake right here. to a guy that's been out here all day long fishing with live shiners and dead bait and live shad he said he's caught one catfish and ain't seen the first striper or anybody catch the first striper so we're gonna give up on the striper for now and we're gonna go up here to the minute market and we're gonna buy some chicken liver or some chicken gizzards and we're gonna go up here to the dam and we're gonna fish off the dam before it gets dark and see if I can get a big catfish I got a friend named Floyd that actually caught a 35 pound catfish two of them um, I think he said it was a blue cat that was just a few weeks ago so I know they're up there we're gonna go get them all right guys we got some shad right here Hook him right here. We're gonna hook him just like that. He's about dead already. No, he's swimming. I ain't got big enough weight on here. Watch out. I can tell that already. That's the thing to do then, come up here and catch your shad and then go out there. Yeah. Something's bit this right here. Or it could be fish hitting a line swimming by. Well he's got something, he's got one right here. You can't tell that's a hybrid or a striper. I was watching him all day. Probably school of them coming through here then. Now he had a little weight on and he also had one pole with no weight. He was freelining that shad down there. Want some more shad? If he's giving them away, shit, yeah. What? 
They saw 50 mullet last weekend. Okay. Right here. So? Well, mullet. So? I'm worried about a striper. Who cares if you caught what he catch with the cast net? Yeah. Yeah. We see him jumping out there. I've been seeing him all day. No, that was mullet. Yeah. He said like. I've been seeing him jump out the water that big. Where the big striper's at? I don't know. <laughs> Y'all seen any big ones come out of here today? No. no yeah. They, they, they yeah. So is it gonna be another week? Uh, it's been, it's been it's supposed to be when the water reaches 70 degrees. It's 65 right now. Yeah. Yeah. So I've seen small ones all day. I'm thinking two more weeks, maybe, maybe Dude, three. Rain holes off. Yeah, we've been having all these cold snaps. Oh, yeah. It's raining. As you guys could see, it started raining on us. We wasn't catching anything up there anyway. We did see a couple people catch some though, and I was really paying attention to what they were doing. They were using small hooks with lighter leader and also um, a light egg weight and they were using the live shad and dropping it right down next to that wall. Now these striper were running in school. So whenever the current would get really strong up next to the wall, I would see four or five people catch a striper real quick. So what I figured was when that current got really strong up next to the wall like that, the striper were running up next to the wall and that's when the people were catching them. We were using some shad, but I didn't get shad until after all the striper were running, so I didn't catch any, but we're just gonna keep going back to places. That's how you learn, you talk to the locals. You see me talking to that one guy, and I was asking him if he's seen any big stripers. He knew exactly what I was talking about. He knew about the spawn, and he said, no, nah, there hadn't been any females up in here yet. It hadn't got warm enough, it's not that time. Well, I say give it about two or three more weeks, and they should be over there as long as we don't keep getting these cold fronts that cool the water back down now while i was over there um i did i did look at the water level all day long and it was 65 degrees the water temperature as i said before has really got to be 70 degrees and it's got to maintain a 70 degrees but we're going to go back over there and catch that spawn thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel leave some comments down below what you thought about the video what you want to see and we'll see you on the water again soon